Hi, kids! Hmm, is anyone there? Oh, hi, Granny! Wow, that looks great! What is it? Um, what's going on? That is madness! Oh, I get it! How cool! It's a Jurassic Animalarium with lots and lots of animals that lived on Earth millions of years ago. And we have to build them! <laughs> it's super fun! And of course, we're going to rebuild a saber tooth! Whoops! Looks like this is broken, Granny! <laughs> it's happening again, Granny! Huh? It's a Cacerebral! A rare mix between Sabertooth, Triceratops and Squirrel! <laughs> Let's find the body and legs that match that head! Look at those teeth! It's a great hunter, but to hunt, it needs a sturdy body. Let's turn the panel. There it is, the saber-toothed body. Its muscles are very big and strong. It's like a tiger that goes to the gym. <laughs> and every feline needs its tail, so let's look for it. Beautiful specimen of saberatops, saber tooth and triceratops. It could work as a character in a scary movie. <laughs> but I don't think the saber tooth could walk very well with those legs. Let's keep looking. Um, Miss Squirrel, I think we found your tail. <laughs> Next. That tail doesn't look bad, but doesn't it look too small? I think it belongs to the mammoth. And it won't be bad for scaring away prehistoric flies. <laughs> Mr. Mammoth, there goes your tail. This tail seems to be a better fit. Shall we go over it? It has hair, yes. And it's much match the rest of the body. Plus, it's the perfect size. So, is it the right one? Yay! Yes. Yeah. Here we have our saber tooth. He's a beauty. Do you want to take a picture? <laughs> hey, what happened here, Granny? The saber tooth has to be rebuilt. <laughs> this is a square on my tops. Ceramoth Masatops Squizeramoth Trimoquirl Sequitops Mesoquirl Squaretooth Sameoquirl I don't even know what I'm saying! Oh, Granny! What if we ask the children what's happening? Do you know what happened, children? Is someone changing the panels? Spooky! I don't think Granny heard you. Let's say it louder. Hey, Spooky! Hmm. Hmm. What are you thinking about, Granny? <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> Aha! She got you! What a great day to surf. Groovy, Ryder, and Monkey are really enjoying themselves. Was that a can? A jug? A bottle? Uh-oh. Is everyone okay? Groovy? Ryder? What about Monkey? 
There he is. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh -huh. What happened? <laughs> Why is the ocean full of plastic? <laughs> A trash island has formed. And it's huge. How is that possible? It seems like Monkey has an idea. Maybe we can take the trash out of the ocean on the surfboard all the way to the shore. Oops, that didn't work like we'd hoped. The board is sinking. And it sank right next to a strange pipe. Trash just keeps coming out of it. Where does this pipe go? What a strange ship. <laughs> Dr. Spooky, how did we not notice before? You're the one putting trash in the ocean. Kids, we have to... Wait a minute. What's that floating in the water? It's a fish trapped in a six-pack ring. But Groovy freed it. To the water, Ryder. Our new friend wants to show you something. You're not going to believe where the pipe leads. Exactly! It's Dr. Spooky's ship! What's your idea? Groovy turned himself into a giant vacuum. And he sucked up the whole trash island. But there's still something left to do. Dr. Spooky deserves to be punished. Monkey picks up a giant rock. And Groovy spits all the trash back into Dr. Spooky's ship. <laughs> Dr. Spooky got a taste of his own medicine. Fantastic, kids. Dr. Spooky is going to have a hard time cleaning his ship. See you on the next adventure. Today, we're having a Hawaiian party. What a great plan. Music, friends, a nice piece of fruit, and minions? Of course, Dr. Spooky couldn't miss it. Yuck, what a nasty, greasy hamburger. Of course, a new evil idea. <laughs> what? A dancing minion? Is this your plan, Spooky? Ha-ha! that giant tray of hamburgers come from and what are you guys going to do with them? The minion is tossing all the fruit. And putting the hamburgers in its place.
Oh, no. <laughs> Dr. Spooky ruined the party. And on top of that, we are getting hungry. Uh, yeah. uh. No, monkey, resist it. Don't take a bite of the hamburger. Uh. Phew, that was close. Uh. Uh. There's got to be a way to eat something that's not those horrible hamburgers. Uh. Aha, coconuts. He loves coconuts. And he's really good at getting them from the palm trees. <laughs> Yummy! Coconuts for everybody! The minions can have some too. You lost again. Everyone is enjoying the party again, Dr. Spooky. Your minion can't stop dancing. Oh, well. What an exciting game. Raccoon tries to steal the ball, but Ryder dodges him and passes it to Monkey, who catches it in the air, and he scores! Ha-ha! <laughs> well played, kids. Dr. Spooky? Mm -hmm. And his army of minions. What? They want to play? I'm getting so dizzy. Oh, no! What do you want? Hmm. They want the court for themselves! That's not going to happen! The court is ours! Let's play a game, and whoever wins gets the court. Ready? Let's play. Groovy takes the ball, but a minion tries to steal it from him. Riders open, Groovy passes him the ball. But wait, another minion is getting close. Ryder bounces the ball between his legs, and Raccoon dunks. Hmm, what's Spooky up to? Is that a robotic ball? The minion sprints with the ball towards the basket. Raccoon tries to stop him, but Ryder stole the pass. Let's go, Ryder. Ryder shoots and what? The ball stopped in midair. It's Spooky! He's controlling it on his tablet! No! He moved it to the opposite basket! And now he's scoring again and again! Kids, we have to do something! They're going to win! Monkey's got an idea! That's it! Monkey destroyed Dr. Spooky's ball. Say goodbye to your evil plan, Dr. Spooky. Or maybe, uh-oh, he's calling his minions. What are you going to do with those tools? Some new shoes? I don't think that's going to be enough to beat our team. Wow, the shoes have thrusters, and now the minions can fly! 
Go get him, raccoon. Whoops. Maybe Ryder can stop them. Darn. It looks like he can't either. Let's go, Groovy. We believe in you. Uh-oh. Well, that wasn't your best play. Oh, no! Another point! It's going to be hard to make a comeback in this game. But you should never give up. Although sometimes, maybe forfeiting in time is better. Sorry, but Dr. Spooky's plan is definitely working well. Too well. Let's go, Ryder. Think. <laughs> Groovy turned himself into a magnet. What's your plan, kids? Oh, great. Monkey is catching the minions with the magnet. Careful, Ryder. There are two minions behind you. But Groovy and Monkey catch them. And score! This is going to be easy. Wow, there goes Dr. Spooky. Haha, <laughs> without your tricks, you can't do anything. What are you laughing about, Dr. Spooky? There's only 10 seconds left in the game, and there's a big difference in points. We need to make a comeback. Hurry! Come on, kids. You can do it. There's only a one-point difference. Darn you, Dr. Spooky. Let's go, Raccoon. Come on. Go in. Go in. Wait a minute, the ball is going up again! Ryder dunks at the very last moment! Bravo! You won the game! You're the best! And even Dr. Spooky knows you guys make a great team. Dr. Spooky is having a picnic. Yuck, he's gonna eat a greasy hamburger. Oops, guess not. How about that milkshake? Nope, not that either. Will he be able to eat the ice cream? Haha, <laughs> in your dreams. Wow, Dr. Spooky doesn't like nature at all. And nature doesn't like Dr. Spooky at all either. What's this? Why is he summoning his robot? Wait a minute, Dr. Spooky is uprooting all the trees in the forest with his robot. Yes, Granny, just as you can see, Dr. Spooky's up to his shenanigans again. Let's go, Super Zoo team. We have to stop him. Kids, show us how on your computer. 
Aha! Caddy and Monkey need to press that button to control the robot. To the transformation capsules! Watch out! No! What? Oh, wait a second! Great! Monkey has stopped the trees! Now we're going to protect the environment! Nice aim, Caddy! See you later, Dr. Spooky! Great job, Caddy! You're the best! Now what, Dr. Spooky? There's the button! Don't let him get away! Ha-ha! Gotcha! Come on, Caddy. It's time to bring the forest back to life. We have to replant. Get up, Mr. Robot. We have to fix what Dr. Spooky messed up. Tree by tree, the forest goes back to being what it was, and no evil human will damage it again. Lovingly, everything is put back into place, and the Super Zoo team wins again. Nature is precious. That's why we have to take care of it. Today is beach day. Don't forget the sunscreen, kids. What? Uh oh. What's Dr. Spooky doing here? He's released some robot insects. And they're putting chips into the people at the beach's heads. What's your plan this time? He has a baton. Oh, and he can control everyone who has a chip with it. He's so evil. He's making everyone get the beach dirty. No, kids, don't litter. Oh, my gosh. You're so bad, Dr. Spooky. No, no, no. We have to do something. What a disaster. Dr. Spooky is destroying the environment. Someone stop him. There's the Super Zoo team. Aha! If we can remove the chips from the people, they will stop obeying Dr. Spooky's orders to litter to the transformation capsules. Caddy, 
ready. Environment. <laughs> We're going to give you what you deserve, Doctor Spooky. <laughs> Monkey and Kangoo made a springboard to reach Doctor Spooky. What a good idea! Go get him, Kangoo. We have to get the baton away from him. What? Why do you want to draw a portrait of Dr. Spooky, Kangoo? How vain. Oh, now I get it. You're trying to distract him. Ha-ha! Monkey swapped the baton with a banana! See you later, Dr. Spooky! Let's go, Super Zoo Team! We have to remove the chips from the people's heads before Dr. Spooky catches up to you! Now Caddy has control. And she's going to make the minions help clean up the beach. But where does each kind of trash go? Kangoo has the answer. Glass goes in the green bin, paper in the blue one, and plastic in the yellow one. It's time to recycle. Let's go, kids. We need to clean the beach. And Dr. Spooky can't do anything to stop it. You'll think twice next time. Everyone works together and leaves the beach spotless. Remember to do it too, kids, when you go enjoy a day by the sea. The environment will be eternally grateful. One more thing. Ha-ha! <laughs> Bye-bye, Dr. Spooky. It feels so great to take care of our planet.